All right, so here we have this coffee grinder. Um, the main problem is that the doser, this thing right here that spins uh, when you pull this arm, you can see that it's kind of spinning but not fully catching. Sometimes it does go. Uh, I'm gonna figure out, hopefully, what's going on. I think it's supposed to, you know, go one notch again and so on. So I'm gonna start with just generally cleaning it, taking it apart, um, just see what's going on. Looks like this portion right here might unscrew. Might have to get Yep, there we go. Okay. Okay, I can see a little pin in here. Have to try and bend this pin straight. Pull it out. There's the pin that I'm talking about. Doesn't look like that's gonna be super easy to get back in, but we'll see. I'm gonna take the bottom off of this thing real quick, just so it's out of the way. It's already missing a screw. Oh, I forgot I have a automatic screwdriver for this. It's been a little bit easier. Okay, power cord's connected to there. I'll just let that hang outside here. Yeah, this has definitely been taken apart before. That screw's in there like it's a little bit sideways and it's missing a bottom screw. All these parts are going to get cleaned up, including my desk. Oh, you can see some of the mechanism right here. Okay. There's the arm. And the ratchet. Look, it's working perfectly. because it's upside down. Oh, it missed one. It was missing way more. I'm gonna turn it right side up. All right, wonderful. These things have fallen out from somewhere. Okay. How is it not? It's working. perfectly every time so just loosening up the pressure from this so I guess it just probably just needs to be cleaned and maybe a little bit um, grease or oil or something um, all right I guess my plan is I'm gonna take keep trying to take this part off and then just deep clean it 
vacuum my carpet. Okay, I see a couple screws that hold the basket in. Okay, and there's a, a nut on the other side that I need to hold on to. And a washer. comes right off. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna just uh, clean this stuff off camera. Um, and yeah, as best I can, and then I'll be back okay I'm gonna take this part a little further um, looks like I need uh, an Allen who also <laughs> blowing into one of these things is a bad idea get coffee grounds in your eyes Classic housing off now. There it is. So I already took a picture of this, but I'm going to take another one just to make sure. Don't get anything in the wrong order. Okay, I'm gonna take this outside with the compressed air. And maybe I'll take uh maybe I'll take this off too. Okay, that didn't free anything up. There it goes. Just really tight. There it is. Oh, I didn't have that lined up. Got it out, I just had to pry it a little bit. Okay. I think that's about as far as I can go. Unless there's a screw hidden under this coffee grounds. I didn't mean, I thought this was some kind of a a rubber seal it's just nasty coffee grounds no screw yet but Jesus is down there get deep uh, reach some metal feels flat no screw okay I just want to show you real quick um, I was able to get this little star piece out by uh, leaning one of the spokes out of here. Boom, pops right out. Uh, this thing just comes out real easy. Uh, all right, got another piece right here. 
Okay. Spring. Okay, it looks like that's the part right here. I got a little wrench in here. And I'm gonna I'm holding on to this star piece because it wants to spin. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Can't lose this little piece. Okay, there's an indent on this that goes facing upwards or downwards, depending on how you think about it. And all of this has grease on it, so I'll have to put new grease. Okay. Okay, this spring wraps around this screw. I'm just gonna loosen it up. parts out now. I think this is one solid part. Seems like it. Okay. And uh, maybe I can get this top part off. I know it it rotates a little bit can't tell if it's coming upwards. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, it's coming out. Okay. All right, that's, that seems to be about it. But now I just have to clean all these tiny little pieces. Um, I don't know if I should just dump them in some warm soapy water, but I'm, I'm worried about rust. I don't know if these are like all stainless or or if it'll all be fine if I just dry it off well. Um, dry it off quickly. Okay, I think I am gonna soak this stuff. Just make sure it gets real dry quickly. Right, before I start cleaning all those little parts, I'm going to try and see if I can get this last piece out of here. I couldn't. I tried prying it from inside there. It wouldn't come loose. It looks like it, there's some threads in here, so maybe it unscrews once I get access to the, um, the cylinder there, whatever it is.
Okay, it looks like I can just ground to any of these spots, so I don't need to really mark which one. Okay, also I need to get this sticker off. Check that out. Oh no, okay, I thought that was damage. That's fine. All right, it'd be nice if this just came loose. want to show you I got the motor apart um, involved a lot of uh, rubber mallet to separate these two parts um, and then I was able to get a screwdriver here and in in order to get this piece out I had to keep it in place but I couldn't grab it very well so I decided to put the pliers in here and basically block it from turning. Then I was able to get enough force to open it. And now I can clean the inside here in this thing. It's pretty nasty. All right, I got all the parts here nice and clean, dried, ready to reassemble. And uh, I think I'm gonna use some uh, grease and maybe some oil or something we'll see watch my own video get put back together i've got the grinder completely back together now um i found out that there's this part right here um it's called a sheet spring or a leaf spring um and i was able to basically rig something in there basically it's a metal ruler um, that I broke in half and got to fit in there. So it's really loud But it keeps the um, teeth from returning in the wrong direction So That should work fine now um, Gonna get another one of these the, the proper part on order, but this should work for now And uh, maybe I'll show a short video of it working at the end Got some coffee here. I'm gonna grind some and see how it goes. But I need to warn you, this thing is insanely loud. Uh, it scared the crap out of me when I turned it on, or when I plugged it in, because it was already turned on. So just warning you, mute your sound or turn it down or something. It's gonna be loud. Still a little bit, because I don't wanna waste my coffee. Okay, I don't have a lid either. We'll see how this goes. Okay, it'll probably do better with the weight of the other beans sitting on top of it when it's full, like normal. Uh, I just don't want to deal with filling it up and then putting my coffee beans back in the bag. Anyways, grinding coffee. Seems slow, but I think that's just because there's no weight from the other beans. But, um, there's some coffee right there. I don't know how the doser 
thing works, but uh, okay, it should spit it out on the bottom here. Let me get something to catch it. Awesome.